Are you playing Project Zomboid and want to zoom in like this? Or do you want to zoom all the way out like this? Or do you want to be able to just see everything in your 360 field of view without worrying what's behind you? Well, today I'm going to take you through it and we're going to sort it out for you. We're going to get it working and you're going to love it. Today I will be assisting you all in getting the more zoom levels and 360 vision mods to work in Project Zomboid. For those of you who are new to this and don't know what this is about, the more zoom levels allow you to zoom even further in on your character and even further out. And also the 360 vision sort of gets rid of the uh, whole thing where if you, you know, look away from a zombie, it disappears. You basically can see all around you all the time, which is, uh, which is really cool. I think um, it's not more realistic, I suppose, but, you know, it, it, a lot of people might enjoy it. So we're, we're going to go through that now. Before we continue, disclaimer time, the 360 vision mod, it will change your game. You will not be able to reverse this in a simple way. I haven't found a setting in the menu that will allow you to toggle this on or off. So be careful when you do this because it will change the style of your game. And if you want something simple that you can toggle on and off, I'm pretty sure this doesn't allow that. This will modify the game. So just be careful. And uh, and don't proceed if you are uh, if you want to play the game the normal way and you will be mucking around with it. Now I know I haven't uploaded many challenges recently and I've just been doing like these tutorial videos. And if you'd like to see more tutorials, chuck some comments below. If you've got anything you're stuck on or you want to see, put it in the comments. I'll have a read and if it's worth uploading, I'll make a little tutorial for it. As for the challenge videos. Those are in the works, they just take a ton of time to edit, and honestly I haven't had any time to do it, but they'll get there soon enough. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, the first thing we want to do is go into the Project Zomboid Workshop in Steam. I'll link this specific mod below, otherwise you can search for this in the search bar. But all you need to do is search for more zoom levels and 360 vision, you should find it. Now, once you are on this page, go ahead hit subscribe so we can subscribe to that mod then we're going to scroll down here now the description here is on it's honestly it's pretty awful i actually i couldn't figure this out i had to, to watch some tutorials in different languages to to figure out what was going on here so it, it explains what's in the mod you know 360 vision you can see all around and more scales gives you more zoom levels that you can set great and then it tells you to go here and you know, replace things in the zombie folder, blah, blah, blah. Let me show you what to do. Make a note of this workshop ID here. This is pretty much the only thing we need to worry about. What we're going to do, we're going to go into our library here, and we're going to right click on Project Zomboid, and we're going to go manage, and then browse local files. From here, we need to go back to Steam apps, and then we're going to look for workshop. Now, we're going to go from here, we're going to go to content, and then 108600. So let's click on that. Now, don't panic. This is going to be very simple. The folder we want to look for is the name of the ID we noted down earlier. So we're looking for 289, and it ends in 075. So 289, 075. This looks like it's a hit, so let's double click on it. Go into mods, and here we are, more scales and 360 vision. Brilliant. So this is kind of split into two parts in here. So we've got our 360 vision folder, that's one part, and our more scales. And there's an explanation here, but it doesn't really do much more than explain what was on the workshop. So you don't need to worry too much about that, because I'm going to show you it. It's epic. Let's start with more scales. We're going to go into more scales, zombie, core, textures, and then we have this .class file. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy it, however you want to copy it, or you can drag and drop too, that's an option. So I'm going to go ahead, copy, and then we're going to minimize that folder. From here, we're going to go and we're going to do what we did before, and we're going to right click on Project Zomboid and Browse Local Files. Then we're going to go into our zombie folder, and we, we basically what we want to do here is follow the folder structure that we had in the textures area. So from here, we had zombie core textures. So from here, zombie, we're going to go look for core. 
Then we're going to look for textures. Brilliant. And this is where we need to paste that file. So boom, easy, done. Replace the file in that destination. And then that's that. That's half of it done. So now when you boot up Project Zomboid in the, in the options, you will see those extra zoom levels. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other one. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go back into more scales. We're going to go 360 vision, zombie, ISO, lightning, jni.class. So we're going to copy that one. We're going to minimize it. And we're going to go back here. So it was zombie, ISO, and in here, we're going to paste. Replace that file. And that is the hard bit done. So let's go into the game and check if it all worked. And once we have Project Zomboid open, we don't actually have to do anything in the mods menu. We can go to the options menu and then we can go to display and we can scroll down and you'll see that we have all of these extra options enabled now. So we can go ahead and tick whatever we want. It's a good idea to just like tick a few and test them because if you're zooming too far out, you are going to lag your game out like crazy. So just test a few, see what you like, see what suits your needs, and then you can adjust them from there. Now, for those of you who are changing the 360 vision, I'm pretty sure there is nothing to adjust here. You can just load into the game and it will already be working because we changed the game file itself. If you want to go back, I think you can just verify your game cache in Steam and it will probably wipe them, I, I assume but only do that if you are really sick of it or if you can find the other file somewhere, I don't know. Anyways, let's load in and see if that now worked. So now you can see, we can zoom all the way out and we can zoom all the way in, oh my goodness. And, um, and that is that. And we can also see the zombies behind us all the time, which is amazing. There is no fog of war, there, there is the, the dark spots, and, you know, if something is behind a building, you won't be able to see it because obviously that's restricted from your field of view. But as soon as he comes around the corner, usually we wouldn't be able to see him. I think he just got he got distracted by the, the, the window. Realistically, we shouldn't be able to see him. But there we go. We can see him. Look at that. Beautiful. Now give him a shove. Give him another. Give him another. Let's step on his testes. Well, I hope you liked that tutorial. I hope it helped. Uh, if you want to hit like, that would really be awesome because that'll help the video get some traction and help other people too. And if you want to subscribe, I upload all sorts of videos about Project Zomboid and other games as well. Um, but I appreciate you for watching anyway. Till next time, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.